What up, YouTube? Big Lou tapping back in with what it do with Big Lou. NFZR2, baby, baby. No flies on Riggins, too. Anyhow, check it out. So, I'm bringing you this video today, which is Thursday, about 2.15. I'm here taking care of some business, um, and I'm waiting for an email to come back. So I'm out here in the shade. I parked in the shade. And I'm going to go back in, in about 20 minutes. Anyways, I'm bringing you this video today. I want to talk about uh, nepotism in uh, professional wrestling. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to miss a lot of guys because nepotism in professional wrestling runs deep. You know, some families, there's three generations of wrestlers, you know, you got, uh, the ones that come to top of my head when, you know, three generations is the Von Erics and, uh, uh, the Ortons, you know, Cowboy Bob Jr., his father, and you got Randy, you know, you had Ted DiBiase, uh, his dad, I believe, and then Ted DiBiase's son, you had, uh, where it's like multiple generations, uh, Joe Blanchard, Tully Blanchard, and then I think Tully's daughter wrestles. You know what I mean? Those are the ones that co come to my head right away as far as multiple generations, as far as, uh, uh, you know, three, at least three generations. Um, the Hearts, uh, Stu Hart, and then Jim the Anvil Knight Hart, which was his son-in-law, and then his he has a daughter now, I think, that wrestles. R.I.P. Jim the Na Anvil Knight Hart and Stu Hart. Uh, Stu Hart, big time um, his legacy in wrestling runs deep to heart and you know he's been credited as training multiple uh, legendary wrestlers over the years um, but the other families that come to my mind the Funks <clears throat> Dory Funk uh, Senior and Junior and also Terry Funk I mean you're talking about man Terry Funk wrestled for like 50 years I think um, you know he was old old dude in ECW and that was that was extreme championship wrestling that was crazy shit they were doing he was fighting Cash, uh, Cactus Jack Mick Foley oh man I mean you know slamming each other through Bob wire and all kinds of shit as an old dude but he was always crazy like that you know he had battles with Hulk Hogan he's Ric Flair uh, you know Jap Japan you know uh, Inoki and all them dudes uh you got the Rhodes, Dusty, obviously Dusty, his sons Dustin and uh, Cody, Ric Flair, his daughter Charlotte. Um, you got Arn Anderson, his son. You know, they had the, back in the day, the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, which was Ole Anderson and Arn. They weren't really brothers. And before that, less, it was uh, Lars Anderson and the other Anderson. I can't think of his name right now. And, uh, that's another video I'm going to do, too, about the the deep, the wrestlers, big name legends from the Minnesota area. And also I'm going to do one on the wet, uh, all the boys that played football and went to West Texas uh, State. Because um, there's a, like 10, at least 10 that are from that area as well. In the Minnesota, there's like, there's a gang of dudes from Minnesota. I don't want to drop names now. Most of you people that know professional wrestling will know who's from Minnesota area and West Texas state area, but I'll leave that for the video because I don't want to start dropping the names here and then it'll just kill the video. So anyways, I left off with, uh, the Andersons. You got, um, the Von Erics, you got Fritz, the father who ended up running WCCW, which was world champ, world, no world class championship wrestling out of Texas. And of course he had all the sons, David, Mike, Gary, uh, David, Mike, Kerry, and uh, what was the barefoot, uh, what was the barefooted one's name? I can't think of it. Uh, David Von Erichs, the one that died first. Anyways, there's like four brothers, the Von Erichs, and now they have kids. Uh, the the last living brother is out of Florida, or uh, my aunt, uh, Jesus, sorry guys, Hawaii now, and his sons wrestle. The one that was barefooted all the time. Um, you got um. Hulk Hogan, you know, and then his his uh, nephew, Horace, right? That's supposed to be his brother's son. And then, you know, Brutus Beefcake and Hogan go way back from high school days, you know? 
<clears throat> excuse me. You got um, like I said, Cowboy Bob Orton Sr., Cowboy Bob Orton Jr., Randy Orton. Uh, you got um, uh, Black Jack Mulligan. His two sons, Barry Windham and um, Kendall Windham. And then Mike Rotunda was his son-in-law, was married to his daughter. And then they got two, uh, he had two sons that were wrestlers, Bo Dallas and, uh, uh, what was the other one's name? Uh, Wyatt, something Wyatt. Those are Black Jack Mulligan's grandsons, Barry Windham's nephews, and Mike Rotunda's kids. Then you have... Uh, you got uh, the Steiner brothers, right? You got Rick Steiner and Scott Steiner. Those dudes were badass tag teams. In the, you know, uh, Rick came out first in the mid '80s. Uh, Florida Championship Wrestling, I believe he was at first. Then he went to Jim Crockett, blew up Jim Crockett. He was the doll face gremlin, right? And he was uh, tagged up with. He was up under Kevin Sullivan and with uh, Mike Rotunda, the Varsity Club, and then. I think I want to say by 88, 88, 89, his brother came in and they became tag teams. They would come in there with their Michigan uh, wrestling gear. They both went to Michigan, right? Those dudes were beasts. Uh, probably, I would probably say uh, uh, Jim Crockett promotion is it was for me, it was NWA, or excuse me, Road Warriors, and then the Steiners, and then Harlem Heat, uh, Doom. Harlem Heat was a little later. Doom, that was uh, Ron Simmons and um, uh, Butch Reed. Hacksaw Butch Reed. And then uh, first they had the masks. They would come. They would have masks on. And then I also like, I always liked Nikita Koloff. And then he was, his so-called uncle was Ivan Koloff. Who Ivan, they're not, neither one of them are Russian. One's from Minnesota. The other one's from Canada. Um, you got the... Uh, uh, that was uh, AWA, which was Vern Gagne ran his son Greg Gagne, right? Then you had uh, uh, Larry Henning, the Axe, which was Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect's dad. And then Kurt Henning has a son with Axel Ro Axel Henning, right, or something like that. I think his name is. So you got that. That's three generations there. You got, um, and then also the uh, Vince McMahon Sr., Vince McMahon Jr., Shane McMahon, Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie's married to Hunter Hearst Hemsley, Triple H, you know. So that goes deep right there. That That's a three-generation um, family in wrestling. Uh, you got Carlos Colon. And his kid, Carlito, and then what was the other one named Primo, I think? Colones, and then there was some other nephews and cousins. Um, then, of course, you got the the Samoans, Afa and Sika, right? And they had the, uh, I think their sons, their sons was the SWAT team, right? The Samoan SWAT team, I think. And then I believe, uh, and then you got Rikishi, and you got Tongan Kid. Which he went by the Tongan kid, but he's not really. He was Samoan, not Tongan. Brothers to Rakishi. And then you had Umaga. Obviously, you had Rocky Johnson, which his son his son was Dwayne the Rock Johnson. At one time, Chief Peter Maivia, who was the Rock's grandfather, um, was tag team partners with Rick, Rocky Johnson. Which is The Rock, the movie star now, his father and grandfather, and then you got all the cut, all the cousins. You got the Usos. You got the, I already mentioned Umaga. You got uh, uh, the one now that's kicking ass now, big time. He's the main heel, Roman Reigns. We got Roman Reigns. Um, there's a ton of, you know what I mean, Jimmy. So Jimmy Superfly Snooker's daughter wrestles. I can't think of her name. I haven't been up on wrestling, like watching it in many years. You know what I mean? But um, you had Ricky Steamboat and his brother Victor. I think it was Victor. You had uh, the Guerreros. You know, Eddie was the youngest brother. Nephew was Chavo Jr. There was Chavo Sr. There was Armando. There was, there was a whole bunch of 
uh, Guerreros, and then the, the father was Gordy, was the father, Chavo Jr.'s grandfather, right? You got them dudes, uh, you got the uh, Rey Mysterio Sr., and uh, Rey Mysterio Sr., and uh, you got Rey Mysterio Sr., and Rey Mysterio. Uh, You got Rey Mysterio Sr., Rey Mysterio Jr., obviously now, and then his Rey Mysterio Jr. son is around. You got uh, Alberto Del Rio. His, I, I'm not sure which one. Mil Mascara was his dad and or his uncle. And then there was another mass uh, Lucha Libre, Lucha, Luchador that was his uncle. Um, you got... Um, uh, the hearts, all the hearts. Obviously, the big name is Bret Hart, and then Owen Tragedy, R.I.P. Owen Hart. All their brothers were wrestlers. Obviously, his father Stu, like I mentioned earlier in the video, he trained a lot of guys. They would go up there to the to the dungeon, and you know the basement, and and get stretched out by Stu Hart. Uh, all the sisters were married to wrestlers. All the Hart sisters. Uh, Brett the Hitman Hart's sisters. One was married to British Bulldog Davy Boy Smith. Another one was married to Jim Nine, Nine, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. And like I mentioned earlier, his daughter wrestles. And then uh, Davy Boy Smith, his son wrestles. Davy Davy Smith Jr. Right. And then you got the the cousin, the Hart cousin. I can't think of his name. He's a little out there. He gets in a lot of shit. I don't know if he still does. Uh, Hannibal got into it with him one time, I think. And you have. Um, uh, Dynamite Kid, which was Davy Boy Smith's cousin. That dude was like, pfft, he was doing all kinds of shit way before anybody high flying stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, and he hurt himself a lot when he got older. You know, he, he, he was crawling. He was crawling around his house when he got older. Well, you know, after he retired and then died, not too, you know, I'm not sure how many years after that did he pass, but it wasn't many. Um, a lot of that was from the injuries of jumping around and all that. I, I want to say, too, probably steroid use. There's a couple wrestlers that, you know, their steroids really, really jacked them up. Uh, Lex Luger and uh, Superstar Billy Graham. Those are two right there that Superstar Billy Graham is having all kinds of issues. Kidney problems, I believe, and different things. Lex Luger's in a wheelchair. I mean, his hands are like this. He's got a right with two hands when he was signing the belts, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's sad on some of these stories, you know, some of these guys that, you know, died, uh, way toward so many wrestlers abusing alcohol and drugs and, and pharmaceuticals. But again, uh, back to, um, you know, rest, the wrestlers nepotism, you know, it runs, it runs deep nepotism, in professional wrestling. I know there's a whole lot of guys that I'm missing, that are family that I'm not saying. Oh, the Young Bloods. <clears throat> the Young Bloods were named the Young Bloods, but they were not Native Americans. They were, uh, they were Latinos. They were, uh, I'm pretty sure, Mexican, Mexican American, you know, Latino of Latin descent. Also, the, uh, you had the Briscoe brothers. Um, I'm doing this mostly just off the top of my head, but. Uh, you had the Briscoes, the Briscoe brothers, Jack and um, what was the other one's name? Jack Briscoe and, and the other Briscoe brother. I can't think of his name right now, but uh, they had long careers. Uh, very, uh, you know, where they were winning hardware, you know, world titles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got uh, Flying Brian Pillman. Now his son's wrestling around there. Chris Benoit, even though a lot of people don't like to mention Chris Benoit because of the the way he went out killing his son and, and his wife, but his son is, you know, his son's involved. His, you know, his son's really a positive kid, man. He, you know, he's hoping that through him, he can somehow uh, kind of clean up his, 
dad's, uh, you know, tarnished name. Which, you know what, he was a kid, a very young kid at the time, um, you know. And he just, you know, I don't see nothing wrong with that. But it, it was a jacked up story, you know. But anyways, you got that, him. Uh, and uh, even uh, you got Road Warrior Animal and his bro Joe Leon Leonidas, his brother. Who I think he had a decent career in Japan, but I remember him in Jim Crocker promotion. He was with the Sheep Herders, I think, if I remember correctly. And then he went on with the the oh, what was the name of the can anybody maybe anybody in the in the comments later on could put what they were called. They were uh it was the Sheep Herders who became the Bushwhackers when they went to WWF. Um, but he was with uh he went they were the skateboard dudes. They would come out on skateboards. I can't remember but you got that that you got him. When he played, yeah, uh, Laronitis, um, and then later he married the, those twins. John Cena was married to one, I believe, but he ended up marrying the mother to the twins, I believe. Um, you got uh, Ronnie Garvin, Terry Garvin. They're not really related, and then you had Jimmy Garvin, gorgeous Jimmy, or later on Jimmy Jam. Jam and Jimmy, I think his name was. He's not really a Garvin either, but what happened with his, uh, Ronnie Garvin married his mother. So he was Ronnie's stepson, Ronnie Garvin. And uh, they would be, they would be brothers, but on, you know, kayfabe brothers, as well as, like I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, Arn, uh, Arn Anderson and Ole Anderson, also Jimmy Valley and, and, uh, uh, what was the other one's name? Johnny, Johnny Valiant, who ended up, he ended up splitting up with, uh, Jimmy Valiant. And then he went to WWF and he was managing, I think, uh, uh, what, what was his name? Freaking. He had a few guys he managed Adonis. I can't think of his name right now. Um, then he also had another one just came to my mind. Um, Greg the Hammer Valentine and his dad. Uh, I think his dad was Johnny Valentine. Johnny Valentine was in the plane crash with Ric Flair. Ric Flair says he broke his back in the plane crash. And I heard Greg the Hammer say that he didn't break his back. And those two guys were tag team partners too. That's another video I'm going to do. Um, guys that were old school um um, tag team partners at one time, you know, guys that end up being legendary, uh, later on, uh, earlier in their career. So it was Ric Flair and Craig Hammer Valentine were tag team partners. Um, Dusty Rhodes, Dirk, Dick Murdoch, they were tag team partners. So we'll touch on some of that. Um, just uh, professional wrestling is, like I said, the nepotism runs deep. Um, and I know I missed a lot. So if anybody can remember any other guys that I didn't mention that are family, throw their names in the comment section. I didn't even research really none of this. This is just all off the top of my head, my recollection. So I know no doubt that I'm uh, missing some people there. But with that being said, Big Lou's gonna go ahead and tap on out if you haven't already and you're seeing this video coming to this channel for the first time please go to the no fly zone Rickens, give a sub a like and be sure to share the channel and also if this is oh, excuse me if this is your first time here be sure to sub to the no fly zone Rickens, give it a like and share it comment in the comment section and also this is what it do with big lou nfzr2 be sure to sub like and share and again anybody that missed uh nepotism family uh blood or kayfabe family um adam in here if i didn't mention him with that being said like i mentioned big lou's gonna tap on out and enjoy this Nice, fresh day. It's not real hot, but it's hot enough that I had to park in the shade. Big Lou, tapping out.